Hello everybody, Triple here, and welcome to the next round of the Atta. Um, last round was a big success, and this round we're up against Lupin, who in the last season we beat, but they had a very scary team with uh, Iron Threads. Um, this time there's, their team is no joke, like, they, I, this, I'm much more scared of this team. Um, they have a Dragapult, a Skarmory, a Milotic, and a Zelf. Superior, a Bellybolt who can Terra Slice into Electric, Water, or Fairy. Colossal, a Jusuian Zorark, a Glastier who is a massive threat who can Terra into Ice, Fighting, and Ghost. And a Hunchcrow who can Terra into Dark, Flying, or Ground. Um, very, very scary, especially the Terra options. I am terrified of Bellybolt. Bellybolt can ruin my team because I did some calcs, right? And I have Roaring Moon with Booster Energy at plus one. Earthquake does not kill electric type Belly Bolt. Like, what is up with that? <laughs> Why does that not just kill? I I'll go over my team here. Um, I'm, I'm starting off with Roaring Moon. Roaring Moon is going to be very big. Because th I feel like this is a situation either he gets a Dragon Dance with his Dragon Bolt. Or I get a Dragon Dance with my Roaring Moon. Either way, one of us just wins. Um, and yeah, I have Dragon Dance, um, Jaw Lock, Acrobatics, and Earthquake. I had Knockoff at first, um, but it didn't um, two-hit KO Skarmory consistently. So Jaw Lock is here instead. Can also be used to play some mind games. Because say they switch into a Fairy-type Belly Bolt or a, um, a Skarmory, they cannot switch out from there. And that lets me switch around more freely. Boost energy, of course, giving me a very nice buff into attack. A basically life or boost. And I have just enough speed to where I outspeed Hisuian Zorark and Azelf. I do not outspeed Dragapult, obviously. Um, but that way I can um, outplay specifically Zorark and Azelf. Um... Dragon Dance lets me be faster than literally everything on this team that's not a Scarfer, that's not Scarf Daggerpult, which I'm not expecting to come here. He could bring it, but I'm not expecting it. Uh, and yeah, it's just a very, very strong late game one. I do want to set up for it. I want some chip on Belly Bolt, I want some chip on Skarmory, and from there we can just win with this. To assist in that, I have Terra Fire Arbaliva with an Assault Vest. We're actually running dual Assault Vest this. Uh, round, but the Salt Vest Arbaliva is really good here in the fact that it counters superior and more importantly, even though it's Terra Fire, it gives it a better hit matchup against Azelf. It hits Glastrier, um, but my Lodic and Colossal suddenly hit it super effectively. The thing with that is I'm a Salt Vest and I'm an Arbaliva, so I live whatever they go for, and between Giga Drain and Earth Power, I do too much damage. Um, to like care much about that weakness like i can one shot colossal if it's not a uh, sash and giga drain recovers me too much health in terrain um if i hit a melodic so yeah i have 24 speed which is just in case he tries to outspeed no speed arbaliva um which also brings me to a nice round 120 um very nice um, Nozomi the Umbreon is here, getting uh, Nozomi off the bench, um, because Toxic is incredibly good against this team. He has one switch into Toxic and a lot of bulk, so I would love a Toxic on Belly Bolt or Glacier, or Milotic even. Um, but more importantly, Dragapult. If Dragapult Daring Dance is up, I want Fizz Death, like a max Fizz Death uh, Umbreon here, and I have... 52 speed, which I believe is enough to outspeed no speed Skarmory. Uh, the whole idea is between Toxic, Wish, Foul Play, and Protect, which is kind of just a standard set, but it works too good here. I have Inner Focus just in case. Um, I do have to worry about um, a, a Toxic from Belly Bolt, but if at all possible, if, if I need it, I have Terra Poison on this. So I can be immune to a Toxic. Um, plus it gives me some nice matchup against a lot of things. Then my second Assault Vest is on uh, my Slowbro. 
I am Regenerator Slowbro with Assault Vest this time. Shell Sidearm, Psychic, Shadow Ball, and Acid Spray. Um, Shadow Ball hits his entire team well. Shell Sidearm is, of course, just great. And Psychic hits a lot of things like um, Zorg and Terra Fighting Glacier. And that Acid Spray is specifically for Belly Bolt. Belly Bolt can, does get three shots by my... Um, because I'm very proud of this spread. I am 252 HP. I am 68 defense, which is just barely enough to take a plus one Dragon Darts from um, Dragon Bolt after three layers of spikes. I always love that. That 88 special attack is enough to guarantee a two shot with Shadow Ball on a Dragon Bolt. And then I have 100 Spadef, which helps me against like a Shadow Ball variant of Dragon Bolt or even Zoro. But more importantly, uh, my special attack investment lets me 3 hit KO Belly Bolt. And I can Acid Spray to instead like weaken it a lot. And between Regenerator and that, um, there's not much you can do against that. Then Primarena is coming off the bench. Uh, I really want to see. Because I have this for one reason. And I want to see the Psychic Noise animation in-game. Because it's one of the few moves I haven't seen used in the game engine yet. And I'm looking forward to what it has to offer. This is a very good switch in to um, something like Azelf or Melodic. And more importantly, it deals with a Glass Viera potentially. Because I'm very scared of that mod because it's way too bulky. Um, plus, the way I put up my, my um, Primarina... I have enough speed to again outspeed that Skarmory if it runs no speed. Um, but more importantly, I'm max special defense. So I can call mind up on Belly Bolt and not have my sub broken. I am sub call mind. And it can't break my sub because it doesn't get a, an, a Electromorphosis boost. Um, so Parabolic Charge never breaks my sub at plus one. So I can Calm Mind up on Belly Bolt, I can substitute up whenever it wants to Toxic me, and basically just set up on a super effective mod. The only problem for this is uh, Superior. Superior has the damage to outpace me. Uh, however, I do have Terra Fire, Arbaliva, I have Roaring Moon, and I have AV uh, Slowbro. So I think I'm all well against that mon i am still kind of scared late game against it but i'll i'll play around it and then last a mon that's just very good against this team in annihilate choice scarf annihilate um his team struggles a lot with ghost coverage uh he does have his own zorark which is immune to it and hunt scroll uh however i actually didn't go with ghost coverage that's kind of a misplay i made here uh Misplay or great play, I have Throat Chop instead of Rage Fist. Um, Throat Chop hits the Zorark if I need to, which also means that I can safely lead this, and if they lead a Zorark disguised as something, I outspeed that, and I Throat Chop it for a lot of damage. I have U-Turn on it, I have Close Combat, and Final Gambit. Final Gambit specifically is nice here to take away a Superior or a Belly Bolt's HP or Glacier's HP. Um, Skarmory, I could chip heavily with this. Basically, any of the problems to my setup mods, I can get rid of with a final gambit. Um, and more importantly, this outspeeds also Dragapult, which is great for me, obviously. Um, 164 speed with Scarf makes sure I outspeed, I believe, just barely his build. I don't know if I prepared for any Scarfers. Um, but yeah, outspeed build. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, see how this goes. I'm currently winning for him. And yeah, this is my second game. And we'll see. So I'll see you there. And there we are. And there is a belly bolt. And I am terrified. As Elf Superior is a surprise that he brings this. My AV Arbaliva looks insane here. Um, no, no Zorark, it's kind of nice, especially for Melania. Endgame of uh, 
Or moon. Leave this, I think. Because it's just solid overall. Honestly, if he leads Skarmory, I can just get rid of it immediately. And we do have Combine to beat Bellybot 1v1. I'll open my Calxer actually. Luffy comes out, that's Dragapult. I wonder if Toad Chop kills here. Uh, come on, Calx, load in. Because if Toad Chop kills here. And I up for further a dark bolt. Tochop does not in fact kill. But neither does Shadow Ball, so I, I am just gonna immediately get a bunch of damage off air. Yeah, that's good damage, good damage. He U-turns on me. See, that's so worth it. He does now know that I'm Scarf, but I will gladly take a U-turn here. Plus now he has to fear Rage Fitch, which I don't actually have, but... Okay, so what does he switch here, is the question. Because this puts us immediately in a really good spot. Getting rid of that. Uh, also, my mic is over here, so I'm probably have been quiet for a while. He's thinking, he's thinking. But this damage is massive on that pult. Rayleigh comes out, which is the Skarmory. So, I'm gonna bring in Oliver. Because I'm fully expecting just spikes to go up here. Since we have no removal. And spikes are annoying, don't get me wrong. He drill packs! Okay. That hurts. Honestly, I am just going to Tower Blast there. Like, Tower Poison is nice, but also I don't really need it. And Terra Blast kills if he's not sturdy. He might be weak armor here. Because it, that way he can outspeed uh, my um, Boring Moon. He can body press here because Terra Ghost. But Terra Fire here. If he lets me get rid of this, that's massive. Surprised he body pressed. But we, we removed our resistance, and we got a big Terra Blast off here. And he is sturdy. But that's massive.
He is lefties here. I'm gonna go for a Gigadrain here. I'm expecting to just die. But say he switches here into my Lodic to try and get momentum. Plus, if I live, this will definitely die. Okay, those just body price and kill me. So, Skarm kills Ar Arbon. Ah, uh, hold up. I have one big question here. Body press does a lot, but doesn't kill me. And he is lefties. So what if I just d dance here? Because there's no way he kills me. Because I have the Calc here and like Lily Fizz death doesn't kill me. And he has to be running Soma Tech Investment with that. He's not Scarf built either. He might be Scarf Azelf, which we will now outspeed. I did us up. If he gets up his rocks, actually massive. Because uh, what is stopping me from getting another one? Hold up. Yeah, he has no... I'm getting a second D-Dance. I'm getting greedy on him. I don't even care. Protosynthesis into attack. At plus two. Does a load of damage. He has Vox up now, which is kind of annoying. But also, I might just be able to win here. I need to see something. As he whirlwinds! Oh, I got too greedy. Okay, well... That is... Very smart of him to bring. Honestly? Not too bad. We can just take this out, honestly. And you don't honestly have anything to deal with this. A Shadow Ball will just take you out there. The whirlwind was really nice of him. We eat that easily. So, bro kills. Bro kills Skarm. 
which is now very nice because uh, if he does put me in a pretty good position here. No more skarm also means I can toxic stuff and I have regen here. Rowan was a really good bring of it from him. I wonder what his switch is here. As of does come in. Shadow Ball does a good amount of damage to you. And there's no way you KO me with anything. With how bulky I am. Okay, Shadow Ball. Does a decent chunk, but also not enough. And that also does a decent chunk. I think I got Umbreon here and click Toxic on something. He could read this, but I'll, honestly, I get regen out of it, so. He might just dazzle here, but yeah. Honestly, call mine Primarina at this point. We need to keep this healthy either way. Rocks are going to be painful. No, he does just Shadow Ball again. I think this might be Choice Scarf. Which is great, because now we just get the Toxic off here. Into what I'm expecting to be a Belly Bolt. We outspeed Serp naturally, right? Hold up. With uh, my wrong moon. Versus Superior. Three fifty-seven, three sixty-three. Yeah, we do outspeed naturally. Yeah, so he's gonna switch here. I'm gonna get Toxic off into Belly Bolt. Or my Lodek, even better. What do you even want to do to me? I'm gonna sub here with my um, Primarina. Because now the slow game has started. I don't think this gets toxic, does it? We eat those. Hold up. 
I want to make a double here, an aggressive, really, really aggressive double. Because I'm expecting a switch to sword pair. Yeah, the thing is, if he goes Sorp, he can leave Storm here. He's not gonna just attack this. I know that much for a fact. He does switch. So here. Frankie! Belly bolt. That might be a problem. However... I honestly don't for just playing Final Gambit. Because he is likely towering here. And Final Gambit is just guaranteed damage. He didn't tower here. Good damage. Good chip. Good chip. Okay. Muddy Water failed. I think... Hmm. You're definitely at like 20%. Even with Terra, Earthquake would kill you. Even with Tar Fairy, Earthquake should kill you here. Twenty seven to thirty one percent, so As he switches! Oh my god, if he switches into... That is an insane play! Uh, however, Melania comes back in. Because you're not claiming... If you got Shadow Ball here, you're actually insane. This is 100% Scarf. The rocks are uh, chipping up, but you shoot that and gleam here, 100%. Yeah. We eat those with ease. So, now let's see, what would your switching be? Honestly, Shell Sidearm is just good here. We have a chance of poisoning anything that comes in. I think it has a chance of KOing even Pult. Oh, he's not choice locked. That's a very nice play of him. I have a problem now. Because he's going to go Surp here. What? Alright, and we're back. And a bit more pixely than last time. Uh, he's going to go Surp here. Um, 
after that we had to recreate the battle and we decided that, that showdown was just faster um so yeah we're back where we left off like most of the things are the exact same i have my chip on bolt and belly bolt which is important uh i have to go wrong moon here on the serp though which is a pain because serp comes in for free now Serp comes in for absolutely free now. And yeah, um. This is likely infiltrate, there's the problem. Either way, I have to, like, he goes Serp here. I have to go Roaring Moon. It leaf storms me. And I have to hope to go that it doesn't two shot me and acrobatics. Actually, I don't have to hope. The, 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 what I have to hope is that he doesn't glare here. If I get some health back on Melania, then it becomes a a good superior check. We have my Melodic Toxic. We can Toxic Belly Bolt too. So yeah, Sorb does come in. I have to go Roaring Moon here. If he Dragon Pulses this, that's a very ballsy play. I wonder actually, does that kill me? I have to re-grab my calcs because I did switch away from them. Oh Jesus, stop that. So we grab when Moon comes in here. Knock off, but we didn't have an item either way. I can acrobatics for free here. And unless this is Sash, this will kill. Knock off on that is kind of insane. The problem is I can't... Hold up. Wait a second. I need to see something, something here. Either way, I think I have to click Acrobatics. Okay, Dragon Pulse does not do enough. Either way, I think I have to click Acrobatics because I can't risk Glare. D-Dance right here would win me the game. The good thing is Pult is Life Orbed, so literally everything he does will kill himself. And it is Giga Drain. Does my Earthquake kill from here? My Earthquake does indeed kill from here, that way I don't risk... Oh no, it's it's Electromorphosis, so I, I just Acrobatics again. Knockoff Giga Drain Superior is insane. Which now thi I think means that my Primarina wins. I keep this in the back, obviously. Because it outspeeds both of these and can hit them very hard. There on the back is still slightly worrying. Because he does still have potentially Terra Water or Terra, uh, Terra Fairy on that belly bolt. We do just kill Surpair, which is now a massive load off my back. This comes in. I'm bringing Nozomi because it's fist death literally. And I think he actually has no real way to uh, break Umbreon. Life Orb is gonna hurt him here, either way.
Dang it, that's dust come in. Does a lot of damage. I'm gonna wish here. Life Orb Dragon Darts does so much, holy shit. But if it does the same as last time, it shouldn't kill me here. Yeah, I gotta wish up. I'm really sad because this means I don't get to see... I was so excited before this battle. I really wanted to see um, the, the, the animation for Psychic Noise. And now I don't get to see that because Shodan. Wisher is pretty huge because that means he really has no way of dealing with Umbreon here. Like, either way, I just protect here, and then I can Toxic Belly Bolt, potentially. And with Regen, slow bro, he has no real way to stop that. Yeah, I protect here either way. He might slack off here, but also then I Toxic this, and I'm just in a good position either way. Yeah, Parabolic Charge. Toxic this. Umbreon was really good going into this matchup. It has a good typing against most of his mons and, of course, Wish Protect. And the only thing resisting Toxic was Skarmory. So I do think I just win from this point. Especially since he clicked Parabolic Charge here, which likely means he doesn't have um, Toxic, which was something I was very worried about. He crit Volt switches me. That crit is really annoying. However, I go back into... Ah. Honestly? I could just acid spray here. If this has like refresh or acid, like refresh or rest, that's a problem. Is the thing. He does just skull burn. Time for the skull burn here. Uh, however, I can call mind here. Actually, I can sub here. And this is where it comes down to calcs. Because Belly Bolt. Fist Death. With Volt Switch. Does a lot at plus one. However, at plus two, it does less. And then again, at plus one, uh, Volt Switch doesn't... Volt Switch doesn't... Oh, that confuses through? That's actually kind of cool. Oh, it's a voice move, so it goes through. You died to Toxic here, so the best thing I can do is just... Okay, well, hit myself in confusion. You died to Poison here, so I, the best thing I can do is just calm my end up again. And at plus three, Draining Kiss just deletes. Okay, well... 
yeah, give me that. And the thing is, if he does, because I'm at plus three, spadef now. That is speed, that is not spadef. Yeah, Voltwitch and Parabolic aren't doing anything. So, you, either I hit myself in confusion and he doesn't get a uh, electromorphosis, or I get to. I, I get to hit him and kill him, basically. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be faster because this is hella bulky. Jesus, look at those stats. Subco Mind Primarina was also very good, the only thing was Superior was really in my way, so the fact that he gave me that with Roaring Moon basically just kind of went Primarina could go in. I snapped out of Confusion and Psychic Noise Scales, yeah. Alright, well, kind of sad that I didn't get to see that animation, but hey, we, we take another win. Um, very, like... Thank you, Lupin, for, like, being chill about this and, and, like, taking the time to run this back. Because we had to go... We had to go through every single turn we played and hope for no RNG. And we just kind of did that. We, we went through every single turn that we did. And, yeah. So, big thanks to him. Um... And yeah, we take those. We're 2-0 and now. So we're actually going pretty strong. Um, and I'm glad I got to show off Prima Arena this time. So yeah. Um, with that, I really hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.